Hello everyone, welcome to part 82 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. And in this video, we are going to update the header menu uh, with uh, with the categories as well as the subcategories. Okay, I'm going to show you that this header menu in the navigation bar, we are going to update this. This is static right now. And we are going to show these categories along with the subcategories and the sub subcategories. Okay, so I'm going to open the admin panel and we'll show you that uh, earlier in the beginning of the series, uh, we have added uh, the the categories as well as the subcategories inside the admin. Okay, uh, so we are going to check out check it out. Okay, so here you can see you can log in into the admin panel and go to the categories module and here you can able to see the categories as well as the subcategories and you can see that we have added uh, the clothing electronics and appliances as the parent category and inside these categories we have added the men women and kids inside the clothing and we have added the accessories as well we have added the t-shirt inside the men okay so we are going to show these categories dynamically in the header menu okay uh, see this is the navigation bar here you can see the header menu and we are going to show these categories dynamically in our e-commerce website in laravel 10. so i'm going to open the header blade file that we have created a few videos back header.blade.php file inside the front layout okay so here you can see uh, i'm going to search with this electronics i want or this clothing i want to see that where uh, is our header menu oh, and i need to make sure that there is no duplicate header menu exists okay so clothing uh, just exists once but uh electronics i uh, while creating the design i think there are two header menu exist okay yeah okay you can see okay so what i'm going to do i am going to disable one of the header menu that is not required okay uh so uh here i will go here uh here you can see the 73 line okay here you can see the navigation one so this header menu is not required so i'm going to command this header menu because this is not required this is the extra header menu so you can also command this one okay so uh this one uh, we can disable okay so you can either disable later on we will uh, we will delete it as well but right now we can disable in case we require then we can enable it okay so uh, let's uh, there is the another one another header menu this is okay i'm going to make it clothing one just to check that this is the uh, accurate header menu okay and you can see yes it's the clothing one so it's uh, fine so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the categories bed file. I'm going to see that uh, we have added all the categories here and I'm going to check that how we are creating this one. Okay, so I'm going to check the category controller as well. Uh, okay, so we have the, uh, this categories, uh, we have used this, uh, this category here, you can see. Uh, so I'm going to check out the category model and i'm going to see that how we are running this one okay this is the cat get categories here okay so uh, we can use this one see here get categories uh see this uh, will have the subcategories as well and sub sub categories as well okay so this function we can call inside our header okay so straight away uh, we can call this function in our header bread file so that we can uh, add the for each loop for displaying the categories and their subcategories and their sub subcategories okay so uh, i am going to include here the uh, here the category model and after that i'm going to call uh, the uh, that function as well okay so i'm going to do it like this uh, here i am going to first include the uh, category model Okay, so after this, I'm going to include here, I'm going to get categories as well as their subcategories, get categories and their subcategories. I'm going to call the function that is located in the category model and I will take one variable categories and I'm going to call uh, from the category model and function name is the get categories. Okay, so I'm going to call this function. First of all, I'm going to check, uh, I can check it like this, that uh, all the categories are coming accurately or not, okay? If the categories are coming, uh, then we will proceed further. 
okay so let us check this one i'm going to now see uh, okay so it it is not coming uh, but we can check in view developer view source okay here we can see see the categories sub categories and sub sub uh, categories okay so see first level second level three levels so up till three level categories are coming from the admin panel so now see you can see here clothing inside clothing men and inside men t-shirts and then uh, inside clothing men then women then kids like this okay so it's fine so i can simply comment this one uh, we have its layout we will uh, just open this one and we'll uh, loop it uh, we will add the for each loop here okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to do it like this okay so there are you can see the three allies are here but we require just one ally inside the for each loop okay so here uh, after this i'm going to add the for each loop here for each and here uh, our uh, that categories array will come okay so here as dollar category fine and this one i am going to end this one here and for each and sorry and i'm going to remove the other allies that are not required now okay so i can open this one now ally and now inside this category first of all i am going to give here the category name dollar category and the category name okay category underscore name uh, so in the same way i'm going to copy this one and we'll put its link as well in href i'm going to put its link as well url and its link and link is the url itself okay so this one is fine and i will need to close this one like this okay so this one is fine now uh, we can check it once that it's uh, working fine or not i'm going to refresh and we'll see there is some syntax error okay i'm going to check that why this syntax error is coming uh, we can check uh, here okay so because here we have added like this okay so now we're going to check once again and here you can see the all the categories are coming clothing electronics appliances accessories all the main categories are coming at the top okay so now we are going to work on the subcategories but before working uh, on the subcategories we need to check whether the whether the category is having any subcategory or not so we are going to add the if condition we we are required to first check that the whether the category is having any subcategory and if the category is not having any subcategory then we are not going to proceed further okay so here we are going to add the if condition and in if condition i'm going to count here and i'm going to count this uh, dollar category and inside this subcategories you can check out here like uh, uh, this one this array of subcategories is coming or not if in case it's not coming like uh, here in the case of accessories it's not coming at all and in the case of appliances as, as well it's not coming at all then we are not uh, show, going to show the subcategories okay then these uh, span ul and li uh, we are not required to proceed with that okay so i'm going to end it here so this uh, this complete code will only come into play when there are subcategories okay so we are going to check it like this and uh, and if there is sub uh, subcategories exist then we will move forward with this one and we are going to use the other for each loop inside this okay inside ul uh, you can see the other allies are again we are having the multiple allies i'm going to remove all the allies just will keep one ally and here inside this for each loop i'm going to add another for each loop in the same way and here the difference is i am going to use this one dollar subcategories categories okay and here i'm going to use and here i'm going to use instead of category i'm going to use here this subcategory okay and this one i'm going to end this for each loop here so like we have done with the categories here also we are going to add the name of the subcategory as well as the link okay 
in the same way that we have done for the categories here again once again we will add here the subcategory this time along with the category name see to show the subcategory name okay so also i'm going to copy this one and here we are going to uh, have the uh, that url of the category okay url and here you can see here i'm going to add the url and here i'm going to this one is not required like this okay so inside this you can see other one but uh, we will first check up till here that uh, it's working fine or not okay uh, so some syntax error has come i'm going to see uh, why such a syntax error because uh, of this thing dollar subcategory now it must be correct okay i'm going to see here still there is some issue i'm going to check why there is some issue because here still uh, we have make one mistake now it seems to be fine i think okay let's refresh yeah okay now you can see that we have under the category we have the subcategories like under the clothing uh, we are having the men women and kids okay still we need to work on sub subcategories but the category as well as the subcategory is working fine now under electronics there is no category exists so it is not showing anything appliances there are no subcategory so it is not showing anything under accessories there is no subcategory so it is not showing anything but we are required to remove these arrows like you can see the drop down arrows uh, because these categories does not have any subcategory so we are required to remove these drop down arrows as well drop down will only come if there are subcategories okay so um, what i'm going to do i'm going to add the same condition that we have added here and uh, for this one for this class okay so we will only show this one uh, if there are uh, subcategories okay i'm going to do it like this and we'll refresh here and we'll see yeah see you now you can see that this drop down comes only under clothing only means only uh, side of the clothing because the clothing is the only category that is having subcategories right now okay so now we are going to work on the sub subcategories level so once again we are going to add the if condition we need to check whether uh, the subcategory is having further subcategories okay so like we have added earlier we are going to add here uh, front of the drop down in the same way and here the subcategory level will come up here and if it exists then we are going to add the for each loop here like we have added the earlier for each loop in the same way we are going to add the for each loop but here we are going to add subcategory okay and here it will come sub subcategory okay and like we have done uh here here i'm going to copy this one it will save over time and we'll replace it here uh, just once and here we are going to add the sub subcategory level uh, for both the url as well as the name and unwanted allies i'm going to remove and but here i need to end the for each loop as well for the sub subcategory okay like this and also we are going to uh, end this uh, end if here and if so i'm going to check it now that it's working fine or not okay so here you can see the clothing under clothing men women and kids and if i will go under men i can see the t-shirts you can see the t-shirt is here so under men there is only one subcategory exists that is t-shirt under women women shirts under kids there nothing exists under kids okay so once again here this arrow uh, is not required if in case the uh, the category does not have any subcategory we are not going to show this arrow so for disabling this arrow uh, we uh, may uh, I think we can add this one oh, yeah maybe here in drop down and here we can disable this one let's see uh, if we can disable I'm not sure uh, that this will work or not but uh, uh, we can uh, add this here in I, I uh, this I tag also let's see if it will work fine okay so I'm going to refresh it and we'll see here see 
now it comes under man because man is having subcategory it comes under woman as well because woman is having sub subcategory but kids does not have any subcategory you can't see anything uh, beside kids so kids does not have any subcategory so that's why there is no arrow is located with kids okay so uh, arrow with men because man is having one subcategory arrow with woman woman is having sub uh, subcategory so that's why same with these things okay electronics does not have any subcategory so no arrow appliances does not have any subcategory so no arrow these small arrows will only come if there are subcategories okay so it seems to be fine here like if we are going to click on man and then it will go to the man okay to that url of the category that we are work on the listing page later on in the series after few videos we are going to work on the listing pages after finishing this home page okay so uh, i think now everything seems to be perfect we can add one more category uh, here like under clothing i want to add uh, under men i want to add more categories okay i'm going to add and we'll check here that how it looks okay so like t-shirts i'm going to add shirts under men okay shirts under men uh, here i'm going to uh, give the url like shirts only and here i'm going to submit okay so here i'm going to check here refresh here and we'll see under men now t-shirts and shirts one more category i'm going to add under uh, under men okay so this time i'm going to add like uh, denim shirts jacket jackets i'm going to add here jackets uh, i'm going to add under men once again okay and here i'm going to give the url like jackets and i'm going to submit uh, no other information is mandatory okay so i'm going to refresh here and we'll see uh, yeah jacket has come up t-shirt shirts and jackets okay so it's working fine now okay so uh, we able to show the categories and subcategories dynamically you can able to see these okay so if in case i i'm going to disable like uh, this accessories does not have any uh, any category and subcategory so i'm going to disable it okay so now it must get disabled from here let's see it's working fine yes we are only showing the unable categories that are unable from the admin panel okay you can see whatever categories unable from the admin panel we are going to show them at the front end okay in the header menu so our header menu is now dynamic okay and uh we can check uh, check it out in this uh, responsive as well okay so let's see in the responsive as well that how it looks okay uh this one and here you can see uh here also it's dynamic clothing men women kids you can see under men we have added the three subcategories t-shirts shirts and jackets under women we uh, i have only one subcategory women shirt but under electronic services does not have any subcategory so it is not showing any arrow also okay so it seems to be perfect okay header menu in the mobile uh, for the responsive uh, is also working fine so we are working on both desktop as well as the responsive website okay for the mobile we are taking care of the mobile as well okay so i hope that you can do this at your end in the next video we will continue further uh, with our home page and we'll show the new rivals products dynamically from the admin panel and then best seller discounted products feature products one by one we are going to finish the home page okay then we will move further on our e-commerce website so do subscribe as well as join the channel to get the complete source code you can always subscribe as well as join the channel youtube.com stack developers okay you can open this channel and always subscribe as well as join the channel if you want the source code okay you will get the multi vendor e-commerce website source code in laravel 9 as well as in laravel 10 that will work in laravel 10 as well and currently we are working on the laravel 10 series you will get its source code along with the complete support as well so i will make sure that you will not stuck anywhere okay so you can join the channel uh, with the membership with any of the membership that you want okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye